I want to start with the relationship between the two of you and how you guys teamed up to form Flower Films. First of all, Drew, before I, I know I, we're eleven I, years old. <laughs> I know that you invited Nancy to help you start this company. Yeah. How long before that you guys became friends? Did you even have it in your head that you wanted to start your own production company? Um, well, I worked on this film when I was about seventeen, and. Um, it was this female-driven film, and I just, I don't know, something about my instincts. I'm such an inherent female, because I am a woman, I guess. Um, and But I'm so for what boys like. I just like boys' mentality. I like a sense of humor. And watching this film, they were making it so much for girls and so feminine. And I was like, and a lot of the production was really screwed up. And I just was like, God, the people that really sort of I admired were the producers trying to fix it and solve the problems. and be the team leader, and I was like, that's what I want to do. I want to produce. I want to be a problem solver. I, I just, I really, when this whole crap storm was happening, like, these were the people that were solving the problems, and I just admired that, and I thought, I would love to be a producer. I would love to solve the problems. <laughs> How do I do it? And she was 18. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what to do or what I was doing. I just knew that I loved this filmmaking form that I'd been in my whole life, but that doesn't mean you know what to do. So I, I I wasn't sure how to go about it, but I knew I wanted to. I met Nan, and I dared her on a phone call. I left a message on her answering machine, and I was like, I dare you to move out to Los Angeles and start this company with me. That is the story. <laughs> <laughs> but I was not living in LA. I was in San Francisco. I had met her via my brother. I was there for a wedding. It had nothing to do with anything. So when I got home a couple weeks later, I had a job from nine to six or whatever it was, and I had a roommate. And uh, he said, uh, someone has left a message on your um, on our answering machine, and she thinks she's Drew Barrymore. And it does sound like her, but it, it, it can't be. And I said, actually, save the call. I did meet her. Let me just check it out. <laughs> and so she's like, hi, this is Drew. Um, I dare you to move to Los Angeles and start this production company with me. And I was like, what? How, how, what do I do? What is a producer? What is on earth does a producer do? So I bought this book called What a Producer Does. It did not help at all. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, but we thought, let's just try it. I mean, I thought, a dare, I'm in. And um, God, you were 19. You were 19. And so um, she had all this empirical knowledge of, you know, having worked on all these films. And um, I like going to the movies. So we sort of looked at it just as simply as that and thought, if you dare me to be an auto mechanic, we would take an engine apart, take the car apart, let's do it with movies, and we spent about three and a half years doing that. Dissecting everything. We worked on films, we worked on Scream and The Wedding Singer, Ever After, um, Ever After without, cool. uh, without taking credit, but really getting our feet wet and getting involved and starting to, Nan is so amazing because she's really organized and really thoughtful about everything. So she sort of organized and designed this college, if you will, for what what movie your life. what movie loving yeah, is. Yeah, you know, how do you make movies yeah. and how do you love it and who are you and what's true to yourself? And we just watched films over and over and over. We watched documentaries, we figured out who our best who our favorite filmmakers were. We actually put but out pretentious, like we were uh, we were past knowing the film school esque. Oh yeah, we put Hal Ashby on a director's yeah, list, not knowing like he was dead. That was a really good. We were like, if we could only work with Hal Ashby, they're like, a great idea, great movie maker, oh. uh, dead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we were like, when he makes the best movies. <laughs> yeah, you gotta just try. We approached it from our hearts, and we mm -hmm. just we didn't socialize the party with people. We took people to lunch and said we love the writers that you have as an agent. All your writers are some of our favorites. How can we pick your brain? What are your writers up to? Can we read their scripts? You know, what do they have coming out next? And so we just kind of approached it as a real scholastic format and worked one on these films. One thing at a time. We always just said, let's just do one thing at a time. Slow and steady wins the race is a huge motto of hers. I, of course, think there's a huge fire up my butt, so I know it's all needed. And um, we finally produced officially for Fox, our first film, which was Never Been Kissed, after, you know, having